Right. Okay, guys. Um, let's do this. Wait. Right? Let's play some more. Um. Bloody. Um. Final Fantasy 16. Right, let's do this. <laughs> Okay, right, let's do this. What ways need to be used? Okay, right, let's go and see Alto, shall we? I'm gonna do another three hours and then see where I'm gonna see where that takes us. Claw people like five o'clock. You're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place is smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? Yes, it was. It's, it's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. Oh, Jill. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Hmm. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, Let me turn the light off go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. hero returns and with hardly a scratch on him I may have picked up one or two <laughs> well the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important a scent the scent of Waluda's the very same but whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the royalists he took them to his grave as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in storm before. The Waludas okay. must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Well, how many have I got left now? You know, so much. The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. Oh, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. The Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. 
Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on when that day, and how? who will be trampled underfoot? When and bloody how? In summary, I know not to what end the royalists betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, <sighs> one must first identify the symptoms. And your lord uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kukka is dead. Yes, the wounds he left is. that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Oh, yes, baby. Let's go and tell everyone that Hugo's bloody dead. Someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing, then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Cooper is dead. Hmm. No, I'm all looking over your hand. shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kuka is dead. <laughs> oh my! Can, can, can it really be true? Yes, I killed him Look, myself. He's crying. <laughs> he is a big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall oh. be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. Oh, it does. Thank you, Clive. I 
cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Yeah. I, uh, Have you God, learned yeah. anything? Alas. No. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. Sorry for what just happened, guys. Right, there we go. Right, we're back now. Right. He leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. Right, as I was trying to the say, how's everyone's how was, how is everyone's day doing? Was the being itself night, merely another projection like, of its time power? What time is it for you guys? I know not, but until I do. My investigations shall I know continue. somebody's watching. Or Thank you. Most of in mine, because I, I got, like, a lot. got to have them by myself, so. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Okay. Ugh, I'm never drinking. Have a look if Otto's got anything It's true. Me. I heard it from Otto's own lips. You yeah, and I'm the one that killed him, so gotta be fucking me, not them, me. You barely sat down since she came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Who's the person Just in chat the then? Speak. Make yourself visible. Make yourself visible so, in my chat. The professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. <laughs> You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Okay. Let's go and speak with... Oh, wait, wait, oh, no. Uh, this is, yeah, okay. Let's go and speak with me. She's down here. I think Mid might need some help, Tony. Yeah, I'm coming. If I don't come up with something soon. Hey, Mid. Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. Okay. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. Yeah. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. Is there anything I can do to help? 
Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. The sack okay. will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that chap. The helm over the top, that disperses all that. And the shield in around the sides. That stops. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plate in. Everything else fits onto it. I've got to show these to Blackthorn. It'll know. Oh, okay, let's do it. I can't make it nor tell of them. Look up. Alright, Blackthorn, which is down there, so I'm gonna have to go all the way over here again. Jesus Christ, okay. But yeah, man, there's so, so much bloody travelling in this game. Get used to this way because it went again. Near the left, the door. Alright. Out of the shadow. Blackthorn, can I ask a favour? Hell with it. It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Krieger's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. Go and see if I can, I can go. Let's see if I can go, go and try and find Gav. Right, there you go. So Mids roped us all in here again, isn't she? Oh. Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, <clears throat> I'll do what I can. And uh, what is it we need to do exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plate in. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valcroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand cut in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where. We can get this over with. Stardust, then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Gav. Gav, you're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcro, eh? That's down past Dallamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blackthorn's supplier. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting them fleece you. Fleece me? I like to see him try. In your own time. Hmm. Alright. 
Let's do this, shall we? Alright, map. This one first. Okay. Looks like I found the river. Now where's Gav? Ah, uh, he's not far beyond here. There he is. Hey, dude. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn, but if star... Lily. Oui. Last piece of star that's the most will probably up here. That's a lot of too far. Right, where is this last piece of star that's Should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. After it. Finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, you win. 
That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Here, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Okay. We're gonna talk about yeah. They about said maybe. Do you miss said? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Yeah, I thought it was Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. You're welcome, dude. Right, that's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead and try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I pl after Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Okay, right, what are we doing now? Right. Oh, hey, Toggle. Ready to go home, boy. I must probably do all let you all let you every every side mission once I've completed the main door. And That's if I don't so black needs. if I don't I'll just do like a an entire playthrough of side missions. A second playthrough of side missions. Blackthorn. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Just for the stardust, should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this firm old plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. So that's quest. That's, that's leading off Steam 1 complete. Is that one done? Right. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. I will, don't you worry. I will, boys, don't you worry. The crystal tea. You're joking. I just want to see mid now. Come report to mid. Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, 
What's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. Okay. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Yeah. Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans, then. Here you see the Mithril engine, in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. Jesus. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said, where would I find it? Uh, I, it, just, it I just want to do this. I really don't care, man. I just want to do this. Too much fuck not. I know people like listening to conversations, but too much conversation make me stress the fuck out. It stresses me the fuck out, Jesus. Alright, where are we going? Go there. Good day to you. But when can I go on a special errand? It's all but spent. <gasps> the crystals we get from the tail are all but worth. You're quite talented with that rod of yours. But yeah, I just noticed we have been over here in ages, holy shit. This is a really old place, this is. Fucking hell. Are Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about. I'd imagine. Would you uh, would you mind? 
Of course. I'll be right back. Wait, I let you just fucking land here. What the fuck? Okay, I'll see you. Anybody home? Oh. Oh my god, man. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. Fucking shit. <sighs> okay. Fucking hell. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. Oh my god, okay good, right, there's another one down, out of the way, right, one more to go, and then I don't know what's gonna happen next, so, after that. Recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shield in. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. 
I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. One huge place like holy shit. Speak with the high priestess. Alright, okay. I need to speak to him again now. Out of the shadow. Wait. I need to. Once I finish this live stream tonight, I'm going to check how many hours I've played the game and see how long I've got left. Actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? <laughs> what are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain right. cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, yeah. she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps. It is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. An obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. Oh. So oh if I could recreate it, it so might be applied oh, to some material or other day. in order to provide the oh, protection shit. it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove Okay, I'm getting bored things. now. I'm gonna do this my fucking self, right? Oh, Jill's coming with me. And you. Okay. So we do. I'll be heading to the young. Okay, I'm gonna skip all this one. Too much fucking talking, like I said before, and then she stresses me the fuck out. Oh wait. Oh. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Jill, yeah, of course Jill's gonna come with me. 
I've never uh, charged her before, but I'm gonna go with Jill. Because she's my favorite. Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. Get all this fucking shit. I can't be asked. Just wanna play the game. <clears throat> you too, Talia. Alright. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Now, where's Jill? There's two. How the hell is anyone supposed to avoid that? Oh, wait. All anyone ever. Fresh cut! There she is. Up! You'll not find a boost living in the bushel. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients. All right. I'll... What can I interest you in today? Hope it's to your liking. I trust it's all here. Keep fighting the good fight. That. One more there. What do you want? Ain't. Go on. Take it. That's everything. Oh, Let's see how Jill's getting on. Fucking hell, that was easy. Holy shit. Hopefully she's got everything she needed as well. I hope so. I want to get this bloody out of the way. Did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and papio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates oh, to somehow I, I, turn I, I, all I this into it. what Mid needs I to keep her engine it. cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Yes, okay. Go on. Oh, please say we're gonna kiss finally. Please say they, they're gonna kiss finally. Oh, it looks like a bloody picnic. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. Oh, I love them too, Mom. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just. She's trying to make a date, she is, I'm telling you. You're right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just. Uh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. And yeah. we can live on our own terms. 
I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Please, oh my god. When the hell are they gonna kiss? Oh wait. Please. Well, I suppose we better be getting back. Just do it already, man. We need to get these Come ingredients on. to help Hocrates and Talia. We're all bloody waiting. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. Damn it, man. Oh my god. When the hell is that gonna happen, man? Oh, okay, let's have a look. High Priestess. Alright, let's go and have a look. Alright, I'm coming. I'm bloody coming. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. shielding progressing Hippocrates well very well indeed and thanks in no small part to your kind assistance I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew and now that we have all the ingredients we may begin yes you can count on me I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time <laughs> I'm sure you have what about the shielding itself Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Thank you. It was nice just being with you. I know, I know. You're, he, she's teasing him, she is. It appears our work here is almost at an end. She's a shame. Him, she is. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon do are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. Fucking hell. Let enough steam. Part 3. Right. I need. Oh god, I need to use a bunch of points. Jesus. Well, I better go and give no, me the good news. Do this. Let me do my fucking god. Holy shit, alright. So Master that shit. Um, can I get some help, maybe? No. Mm -hmm. 
There's so much I need to fucking do. Like. But I will more. I, yeah, like I said earlier, I will most probably just leave all the side missions now until bloody later on. But shut up, dude. I'm not listening to you because I did hear you before. Right. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the black hammer! Alright, let's do this. You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> All right, let's do that shit. Oh, God. What is that noise? Oh, hello. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I'm looking at something else. What am I looking at? What, am I, what the hell am I looking at? It's finished! It's finally finished! Thank fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other... See you later on then, dude. Oh, fucking hell, right. What's the matter? Nothing. Just... daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... <laughs> I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right, my mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just 
one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, so what, what the hell does she need to do? So bad, but he wait. Oh. Mid Speak told me she was building a time. ship. Alright, Clive. Astrid. Mid finished sending half the hideaway traipsing across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl did anything said. to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive? Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Obelisk, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. Oh my god. <sighs> then I'm too late. Get this, get this, get this. <laughs> Thank you, Obelisk. Don't. I really don't care. Does someone go and see if. What tidings, Uncle? My dear boy, my journey to Canvo has been a, a, a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the con contents of his strong box with us, but his con considerable knowledge of the go go of the going on in the free cities by which I learned of the end of end of you love in uncle oh, okay troubling canva well i'll need someone to keep an eye on mid <clears throat> So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. The next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Yep. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Me, uh, that will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give <laughs> Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Let's visit the old hideaway. Oh my god, this is gonna be strange, this is. Sid, I remember what you told me. 
Oh, so that's why we went. If no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Yes, nice. Holy shit, there's a lot. Wait, what's going on? Oh, the sins. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. scenic view back then but it was never as bad as this I know the blind march is on and soon there will be no escaping sights like these yeah so our mission remains unchanged we cannot stop until every mother crystal is gone and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in storm is Drake's tail in the crystalline dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You'll break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? And I told God you were your way back as well, so come on, boy. <laughs> you know. Did you see that, Sid? <laughs> Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. Oh, man, this game is really good. I've I've said it so many times, but 
It really is a good game. I'm mean, really enjoying it. Oh. Okay. Let's do this. Onward. Okay. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Talia. Jesus Christ. Man. I'm glad to hear it. And Torg will help too. In the boy. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough oh to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Okay. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Done the Republic a service. Yes, we bloody have. I see the Dalnecks lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> 
even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. A final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, Perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious. And punished man for his defiance. By visiting upon him... Two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth... I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spent. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always but assumed yeah, there I'll must be something I'd point, misunderstood. Yeah. You had a lot of story books, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> okay. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. What was it, man? I hate when he does that. Oh, oh. Oh, that's the last crystal, isn't it? See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea, all shall bow before their Emperor. 
Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Turn to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind. Who the hell's and Ultima? my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and who the, of the divine. Who the hell is Ultima? You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! <clears throat> Insolent wretch! <clears throat> you will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? Oh, shut up, bitch. I have suffered worse. <laughs> oh, you bet you are. Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? to the north. We just need to hug the coast. I just want to outrun all the enemies on from here. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Make him try it. Fucking enemies. I'll just keep an eye out for fucking enemies now. More refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing.
Okay. There are no crystals here. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears. Meats and beans. Oh, way too. Where is this person from? Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh, How much for a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper, not nowadays. Oh, you're more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are to form a line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. Then they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? Yep. <clears throat> he must be around here somewhere. Taste my peaches! You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Caravan stops next to Slake your thirst without a crystal. There we go. Oh, good. There you are. Clive, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, good. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. Then a band bumped into me and... Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? <clears throat> oh, can help on me. She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm going to check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Out of my sight, wretch. <clears throat> Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait! Don't go, El! He's been made! As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Bocklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. Nope. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh... It's me trader's pass. It got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. 
<sighs> Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then... We can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either? Nope. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders. But I okay. suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Oh, okay. Why? Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes. And no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners. And yet, none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Yep. No Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. Mm, yeah. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um... Yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. Okay. The proprietor of the furniture okay. maker. I said. Well, let's go. I just want to do this. Go the way and then you go. Snake spit for the road. Juicy pears, snake you. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and a wee's collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. 
Thank you. We will. Excellent choice, my lord. Come and taste my peaches! They're sweet! You should come with me to the Dominion. Life. Uh oh. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? I suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start. <laughs> all right, then. Questioning children. That you won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? To get paid for it? So no, if I can steal shit, that's cool. I keep on doing that. Excuse me, clock. Stops next to the check. Jug of steak spit. What is it? We need. I don't. Do you use your bank? Big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. Okay. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. Who are they? 
call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me a good kill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but bread doesn't come for free. Yeah. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. And you know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hansa. You found him then? Yeah. Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> You're... him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Oh, wait. Cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brute. Where did you get it? <laughs> Master Theo. <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Oh. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Balklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. the car stones and we crush them you get your traders passed back and i make bog lad a safe place again all right then all right then honza where are they camped don't worry they'll never know you told us I couldn't if i wanted to they always come to town to collect the passes they meet us outside the gate i tried following them once but they spotted me halfway down the trail Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then. Leighton's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. Oh, oh, oh. 
sticking his nose in our business. You should have minded your own. This must be it now. Oh god, hello. <laughs> Not a bad haul today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural expectants. <laughs> Believe they don't. I wasn't planning. Not so. And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Fucking hell, crazy. Now...
Clive, how goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, Welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? Yes, I oh, will. Right. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. What is it? El has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Not cholera, come past the time. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's path should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... Nine million? We'll... Try the caravan. There we go. Alright. Hopefully that's it for now, because I don't think I can go on anymore for the day. Right then. Let's get this back to Goots. And then it's on to the Dominion. Okay, right, I think it is time for us to save the game. Right. Okay, guys. Right, so I'm actually going to leave off there for the day, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's live stream. So if you guys should smash the like, comment down below, all that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next live stream and the next video for YouTube. Alright, bye.